Hey YouTube, uh, this is part two of a reptile or bit of dragon enclosure. It's finally finished. Uh, I just finished it today, just put these guys in not long ago. It's not set up the way that I want. Obviously, need to get a couple of things. But uh, yeah, at the moment, I've got a mercury vapor bulb, a zoom ebb, power sun, I think they're called. That's 100 watt. Um, light fixture goes from one side to the other. Di diagonal, uh, yeah, double. Remember, a well lit enclosure. I swear to go, gotta try to mimic the sun, don't you? But yeah, and there's two 5000k uh, globes. I've got a, a Repti Star um, UVB tube coming, I believe that's a 5.0, but that's uh, 6500k. So that'll even brighten it up more, make it more like daylight. It's really bright in there now, you can't really tell. But yeah, that's Path. He's a red. He's a red bearded dragon. And that's this big fella. Seem bad. But yeah. Um, sliding doors. I made these so they can come out. I'll show you that. Just do it with one hand too. Just like that. Bang, it's out. Put it back in. Find the groove. Oop. Done. There. Um, made a lip here. That one there's on the outside. The other door is on the ins. Uh, that's on the inside. The other door's on the outside. So they meet. You try and get it. I'll show you. Oh, falling. There you can see. That they meet each other, see? Outside, and that's outside. And they, they meet. Same with this side. There. Can you. you go the door, you're gonna fall, mate. Caught ya. Oh, you naughty, aren't you? But, anyways, don't you, not you two. Come on. Check out your new enclosure, but yeah. Zimbad, when he's really lit up, like colourful man, he's fucking awesome. He's got the full two orange stripes going down, yellow, they go blue, so orange beard, orange eyes. He's a bloody killer. But yeah, no, he's really nice. Nice dragon. Nope, sorry. Um, yeah, the reason they come out is because you can see this aluminum track it's just a u-shape but um i've cut like i did with these things strips off this stuff in and put it in there there's two layers of it in there laying down and there's only that's only sitting on a two mil lip right so that way you know clearly you can lift this up yeah it's very good um the vents low vents down the heat side you can see where i run all the wiring just out there really out the hole at the bag. Yeah, but the vents they face down so the cool air is gonna get sucked in and come down. Uh, the outside obviously can't see but they're facing down too obviously down it sucks the cold air in. Sucks down, comes, heats up. These vents high up the cool end, right? So it comes in, it's cold, heats up, and it rises, right? Now that angle down too. Because, uh, well, that'll allow more airflow to come out. So, this on the inside, the angle down, on the outside, the angle up, right? So, it goes out on angle. Obviously, hot air rises, and as it does, it's going to come down and then out and get sucked up. If it was the other way around, it'd have to go like heat up and then get forced down to get out. So, this way here, it's easy, it's just straight out. And that'll actually, you can really feel well, the heat come out. And when you feel down there, you can feel the cool air getting sucked in. So it creates like a vacuum, doesn't it? So fresh air is just getting pumped in. And yeah. So this cage is made out of MDF board, this stuff. It's very, very fine, like powder wood pressed together with whatever they do. But it's not melamine or anything, it's nothing coated. But melamine comes in like wood chips, right? This is like a dust or a powder. Um, when you get the melamine wet and it's exposed to water, that really puffs up and swells up, right? This stuff's not too bad. Like, 
This is the size I was making previously, this smaller tank on top. Big difference. But um, I've had this one probably about a year, made it ago. And I miss these lizards like every day. Helps with shedding and just get a little bit of moisture and stuff. Spray the veggies like down there. You'd spray that. But um, yeah, there's no problem. There's no swelling or anything like that in these cages. But yeah, uh, there is a little bit of water damage there as you can see. And clearly it's not blown out or puffed up or swollen or whatever. Right? Just got carried away with the mister one day. But yeah, um, this, this cage, new cage, very strong. Uh, every join, everywhere the, where the wood meets is uh, a big bead of uh, liquid nails. And then it's all screwed together real nice, big long screws. These screws probably going about that far. Um, yeah, it's all pushed together. When it's all pushed together, it all oozes out and you clean it up. So yeah, there's no room for, you know, weakness there. And then it's all sanded. All this is smooth as. So yeah. No, very nice. I'm happy with how it finished. All the screws down there. You know. Yeah, no, awesome. Yeah, not only that, like, all on the inside. I don't know if you can see. All on the inside, it's all uh, liquid nails as well. So, let's just see. In the corners, it's all liquid nails and every every seam, you know, liquid nails everywhere. Um, I stuck the vents on with liquid nails, you know. No screws in there, it's just liquid nails in the holes, liquid nails beaded around the outside, stuck on. Beautiful. So good. So yeah. Um, leave any comments or whatever, subscribe, that'd be great. Um, yeah, thanks.